Welcome back. In SolidWorks 2015, you can now create equidistant points or sketch segments in sketch entities. Let's begin with a sketch on the front plane. Right click, sketch, and first I'll bring in a three point arc. Here's my first point, second point, and third point. While the arc remains selected, let's go to Tools, scroll down to Sketch Tools, and let's select Segment from this list. Under Segment Parameters, I can select Sketch Points or Sketch Segments. And I can change the number here. Let's click OK to accept. And let's bring up the Line tool. Now let's bring up a rectangle, escape to exit the tool, let's right click and go to Recent Commands and select Segment. Since the rectangle is actually an array of four different lines, I can only select one line at a time. I can't select the entire rectangle as one entity. Also, if I create a circle, and then activate the segment command again. I don't have a way to specify the start point. Let's try that out. Here's my circle. Let's go to recent commands and select segment. So you see my problem here. I don't really have a way to specify the start point. Let's cancel out for now. This tool also doesn't work with entities like splines or ellipses. Let's create a partial ellipse now. And with the partial ellipse selected, let's go to Tools, scroll down to Sketch Tools, and then select Segment. If I try to select the partial ellipse or the spline, as you see, I'm not able to do it. This concludes our video about creating equidistant points and segments. Thank <laughs> you.